Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson I'm going to go over a bit of an important uh, note that people uh, when using make they don't they don't give a lot of attention to which is error error handling. Uh, the reason why it's very important is that uh, once you have live scenarios that are uh, making you money and uh, answering to, to your clients whenever make runs into a problem with any of your scenario it will deactivate it. Uh, and you can imagine when you're away from your laptop or computer or traveling or sleeping uh, and if this happens, then you start losing clients and losing money. Uh, so the the reason why we make error handling nodes is to handle this situation when when there is an error to uh, to stop make from deactivating your uh, your scenario and resort into other ways we can solve this. So without further ado, I will make a new scenario. <clears throat> I'll call it error and then I will start as always with a variable you guessed it set variable revise zero one and test so usually we make error handling whenever we make an HTTP request so what is an HTTP request? So usually an HTTP request is like when you go into your uh, your, uh, your Chrome and you uh, enter google.com and press enter. So the one you press enter, it, it sends a request to get uh, the website called google.com from the servers. So it gets you the a fresh live version of Google and puts it in, uh, in your browser. So your... Uh, uh, your browser always makes uh, requests, HTTP requests. There are several types of HTTP requests. I'm not going to go over them, uh, but naming if you get, post, delete, uh, update, there's a lot more. And usually when you do HTTP requests with make, sometimes you run into error because you're either making too many calls and the websites you're, you're trying to get, uh just limits the number of calls you make because they wanna uh they wanna avoid the uh, people misusing their website if you're if you're requesting too many in in uh, in a couple of seconds that means that you are either a bot or someone trying to do something bad <clears throat> so they request the amount they limit the amount and they they stop you from accessing the the website so the request gets back into uh, you don't have any answer right so this is why you get error usually whenever you're dealing with HTTP requests. So let me get, for example, this website, LinkedIn, and put it here in the URL. And let's say get, let's use the whatever option they have, and let's go run it. Perfect. Now we have a response. So what is the response? It's 200, which means that we got data, and the data is this HTML code of the website right so now this ran quite good right uh, what we can do instead of hard coding the website what we can do is use utilize our variable here and instead of writing this we can use var okay run it again run it again so as you can see we don't have any errors right now fetching this but sometimes if you run it too much or if you're in a scenario that runs it uh, directly, it, it makes an error. So what you do is you make an error handler. So what is an error handler is you right to click on your node. Every node has an add error handler. So there are different types of error handlers. There's break, commit, ignore, resume and roll back. Uh, <clears throat> And the most famous one, and the one that you're probably going to use the most, is Brick. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's try to um, hit Brick. So once you click, you you see the error handler is different. It, it is different from the normal one. It's only outline, and uh, it's it looks different from any other node because it's another branch. So flow control, so automatically compute, yes. Number of attempts, so this is this is telling, telling make that if there's an error, try again. 
how many times do you want to try i want to try three times right and the good thing about this is you specify the interval of time between them because if you try directly you're probably going to get the same error right so what we want to do is to try uh, and space them out so each 15 minutes is five minutes etc uh, and this is really it you don't need to do anything more you just click ok and this says uh, ok so what you need to do is um, you need to allow storing of incomplete so you need to allow when an execution didn't happen you need to allow to store that this execution didn't happen <clears throat> for error handling to work you just click ok and now it works uh, if we run it now it runs this uh, this error handler will not run unless there's an error right unless there is an error this this runs okay uh so i think that's it i don't want to make a long lesson it is it is that simple uh please whenever you run into errors in your scenarios especially with requests just always i always put in a, a break whenever i add an http request or when i'm when I, whatever i'm uh, fetching a api uh, or, or using anything that uh, relates to that uh, just so that my scenario doesn't break uh, whenever I'm not available and it always there's always a time because usually it's always time out uh, so uh, I give it an interval of five to ten minutes to try between and three is enough uh, and usually this handles 90% of the errors right so try to incorporate that in your uh, scenarios moving forward uh, it will save you a lot of headaches uh, and a lot of time. And if you're making money with this, it will save you a lot of money as well. Hopefully you found this uh, lesson uh, interesting uh, and you gain uh, something from it. I will leave, as always, in the description box below some links that you, it will be useful to you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Give it a like uh, and subscribe and see you in the next lesson.